L.R., the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country wondering when the laws of our land are going to be enforced against the current occupant of the White House. No one is supposed to be above the law, but he violates the law on a daily basis and so far has endured zero consequences. Two main sources of his criminality involve the Hatch Act and the Emoluments Clause. The Hatch Act restricts federal employee participation in certain partisan political activities. The political activity restrictions apply during the entire time of an employee's federal service. Certain rules prohibit both on-duty and off-duty conduct. Partisan political activities are those activities directed at the success or failure of a political party a candidate for partisan political office, or partisan political group. While most federal employees are permitted to take an active part in partisan political management and partisan political campaigns, the Hatch Act does prohibit certain participation by all federal employees. Federal employees may not seek public office in partisan elections, use their official title or authority when engaging in political activity, solicit or receive contributions for partisan political candidates or groups, and engage in political activity while on duty. The most recent abuse by the president occurred when he used the White House as a backdrop for his acceptance of the GOP nomination for president in the upcoming election. The Emoluments Clause, also called the Foreign Emoluments Clause, is a provision of the U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 9, Paragraph 8, that generally prohibits federal office holders from receiving any gift, payment, or other thing of value from a foreign state or its rulers, officers, or representatives. The clause also provides that no title of nobility shall be granted by the United States, and no person holding any office of profit or trust under them shall, without the consent of the Congress, accept any present, emolument, office, or title of any kind, whatever, from any king, prince, or foreign state. The Constitution also contains a domestic emoluments clause. Article 2, Section 1, Paragraph 7, which prohibits the President from receiving any emolument from the federal government or the states beyond a compensation for his services as Chief, chief Executive. Trump violates the Foreign Emoluments Clause via his D.C. hotel, where foreign rulers book lavish suites for extended stays in order to gain access to the president. He violates the Domestic Emoluments Clause virtually every weekend by charging out rates trying to protect him for accommodations and golf cart rentals at his various golf courses. This is unacceptable. It must end on January 20th, 2021, when Joe Biden assumes the office and Trump is kicked out the door into the waiting arms of a multitude of state and federal prosecutors. You can reach me at theliberalredneck at gmail.com. And you can visit live with me and my talented colleagues for our weekly wrap-up every Friday at noon central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash the liberal